Chapter 531, Lu Xiaoyu Senpai Lu Xu felt that something was not right with the Cultivation College admission test. He had taken all the tests he needed to take. He calculated the time. There seemed to be nothing wrong with the timing Zhang Yutong had informed him of earlier. He had indeed missed the test because he was out on a mission. When exactly was the test? Lu Xu pulled Zhang Yutong and asked. Zhang Yutong replied without any hesitation, January 6. Lu Xu gasped in shock. Wasn't that only a few days after Nye Ting had given him the choice to retreat? If he had retreated then, he would have made it in time for the test. But no one told me about this. Lu Xu was immediately speechless. He did not know when exactly the test was. He completely forgot about it while he was in Japan. Zhong Yutong knew that Lu Xu's deeds this time around were very impressive, thus his tone was very polite. Of course, it was mainly because he could not defeat Lu Xu now. Besides, he knew that Lu Xu typically did not care whether you were his comrade or not. It would be another story if he had died. You're reading on beoxnovel.com thanks. Xiao Xu, you too know that the Heavenly Network wants to stand up against the pressure of the influential officials. From the principal point of view, there are no flaws. If they allow you to take the test later than prescribed, others will use your case as a breach of policy, Zhang Yutong said sincerely and earnestly. Lu Xu muttered to himself. I was doing it for our country. From Zhang Yutong's distress, plus 666. Hold on. Zhang Yutong was getting a headache from this. I have other things to do, so I'll take my leave. Without even waiting for Lu Xu to react, Zhang Yutong took off his jacket and left immediately. Lu Xu picked up Zhang Yutong's uniform jacket. He was speechless. Don't you want your jacket? Lu Li looked at Lu Xu from the side, dumbfounded. Lu Xu had thought that he was on good terms with Lu Li. Since Lu Li's revered elder cousin had saved him, he should treat Lu Li a bit better too, right? Lu Xu walked towards Lu Li, I have something on now, so I'll take my leave. But everything that I have said still holds. If you encounter any problems, come find me. I am good friends with your elder cousin. Although he is no longer around, but from now on, I am your elder cousin. From Lu Li's distress, plus 999. Lu Li's expression darkened. Talk was talk but here he was taking advantage of others? Just now, Luli had still thought that Lu Xu had changed. But now it seemed like this was not the case. Lu Xu was still the old Lu Xu. For some reason, Luli was also slightly comforted. During his high school days, there was a lot of hostility between students. Looking back after graduation, the conflict they had in school was laughable. After entering the workforce, the people who had obviously fought in high school ended up being the best of friends. This was not uncommon, on the contrary, it was quite normal. When everyone had thought that Lu Xu was dead, even Li Yuqing and Yi Lingling mourned over Lu Xu's death. There were times when the relationship between people was not as complicated as one might think, if Lu Xu was normal, that is. But Lu Li did not even think about understanding what exactly had happened to Lu Xu. According to the notice from the Heavenly Network, wasn't Lu Xu dead? However, he realized that at the Heavenly Network, many people kept their calm in the face of the unexpected occurring at the capital. Lu Li suddenly realized that when they were fighting among themselves in their student days, Lu Xu had already stepped out of the student and circled towards an even bigger stage. Take Zhang Yutong for example. The chief manager of Yuzhou was like a heavenly king in the eyes of the students. But Zhang Yutong was very polite towards Lu Xu. And Lu Xu could still strip his jacket off. In Lu Li's eyes, the Lu Xu now had become somewhat mysterious. It was as if there were too many things that had happened that he did not know about. Lu Xu used his right hand and pounded his chest before pointing at Lu Li, I, Lu Xu, will not go back on my word. Remember, from now on I am your elder cousin. 
From Lu Li's distress, plus 999. Go away. Do you have to take advantage of people all the time? Lu Xu immediately left after he finished speaking. He wanted to find Mia Ting or Shi Xue Jin to discuss this matter. In the end, he realized that both Nia Ting and Shi Xue Jin had disappeared. Where did they go? Over the next two days, Lu Xu looked everywhere for Nia Ting and Shi Xue Jin. But it was as if they had completely disappeared. Lu Xu could not find them at all. He felt that if they were not intentionally hiding from him, then they must be ghosts. Lu Xu was worried. He suddenly thought of a question that made him very uncomfortable. Xiaoyu, have you taken the admission test? Yes, and I scored quite well, Lu Xiaoyu said lightly. I still thought that we would be classmates. I never thought that I would eventually become your senior. She should have been four school years younger than him. Now she had become his senior? What was happening? No worries, Lu Xiaoyu comforted him. There's still next year. Our Lu Xu is so smart. As long as you work hard, you can definitely pass next year. Lu Xiaoyu, I'm giving you one more chance to reorganize your language, Lu Xu said with a black face. Just wait for your turn next year. Lu Xiaoyu, pleased with herself, held her phone to watch Naruto. Was it important to her whether or not she attended school? No. It was just that Lu Xu had insisted on her going to school. Thus, Lu Xiaoyu took pleasure in Lu Xu not taking the admission test. She had no emotional burden. Thinking about how she had suddenly become Lu Xu's senior, she could not help but feel excited. At the same time, Nia Ting and Shi Xue Jin were far away, sitting by a river shore and angling. Shi Xue Jin was enjoying his thread-bound book. The phone in his bag rang and he fished it out. He took a look and smiled. Lu Xu has left the capital. Putting him in the security formation is an inhibition of his outstanding service. He should have displayed his talents on a bigger stage. The fishing rod in Ye Ting's hands shook. As he reeled the rod, he said, wait until he spends some time in the security formation without any profit. Then he will know the benefits of going overseas. Are you not scared that he will rebel? Shi Xue Jin laughed. Lu Xu has a baseline. He is much better than those who proclaim that they love their country, yet engage in unprofitable business behind the scenes. He has to be willing to become the ninth heavenly king and be in charge of overseas relations. There is no use for me offering him a humble apology, said Nye Ting. Earlier I was wondering why you thought so highly of him, a young man of class C. Sure Shua Jin's fishing rod shook and he fished out his catch. If we let the whole world know that a 17-year-old boy had killed Takashima, who was on the boundary of Class A, I'm not sure what the arrogant Hades from the Phoenix Society will think. Of course, Lu Xu probably has a lot of luck on his side. Luck is also a component of strength, Nia Ting said calmly. Chapter 532 Little Fury, the member of the security team Lu Xu returned to his apartment after a long time. He realized that the apartment was very neat. He knew that in the past, when Lu Xiaoyu was alone at home, she would not do housework. Every time he returned, the house would be in a mess. What happened this time? She had actually done the housework before leaving the house? No. Lu Xu swiped the dining table. There was not even a trace of dust on the table. Even if Lu Xiaoyu had cleaned the place before leaving, one week had passed. Lu Xiaoyu had accompanied him at the capital for a week too. There would definitely be some dust. Just at that moment, Little Fury sprang out of the toilet with a towel in hand. It looked at the two of them in pleasant surprise. It got rid of the towel and wrote in the book on the table. You are finally back. Can I go out to play? Lu Xu's mouth twitched. He still could not put much hope in Lu Xiaoyu in this aspect. But he did not directly let Little Fury go. How many rats can you control now? Little Fury gave it some thought and wrote on the book. 
around 50,000. Lu Shu gasped in shock. So many. Can you control them all? Little Fury proudly wrote on the book. As long as I am strong enough, they will all listen to me. Wow. Lu Shu furrowed his eyebrows. How many rats are above class F? Little Fury wrote down a very accurate number, 617. This made Lu Shu very surprised. He did not think that Little Fury was so shrewd, to the extent that he could give a detailed number. This number was very large. Under the cover of the Heavenly Network, which other organization had such influence? Perhaps not even the Heavenly Network had expected that under their control, a non-human population was slowly growing under Lu Xu's training. Lu Xu observed the waves of powers coming from Little Fury's body. His power was on par with that of a beginner class C, he fed two refresher fruits to Little Fury. Little Fury was so touched that he cried. It had not done the housework for nothing. In Little Fury's eyes, when Lu Xu made it do work, Lu Xu was the bad guy and Lu Xiaoyu as the good guy. But when Lu Xu gave it refresher fruits and Lu Xiaoyu made it do the housework, Lu Xu was the good guy and Lu Xiaoyu was the bad guy. Little Fury was an adaptable squirrel. When Lu Xu was at the capital a few days ago, he had discussed the problem of the magical beast's growth with Hao Chichao. The Heavenly Network had many magical beasts. Some were even hidden. According to Hao Jichao, Mia Ting would go to the Changbai Mountains for one or two days. This was not a secret. The reason why Mia Ting left for the Changbai Mountains was likely because there were magical beasts there. Furthermore, Mia Ting personally raised them. Every magical beast had different advancement aptitudes. As the Heavenly Network Daily Affairs Manager in the capital, Hao Jichao was very clear of the matters concerned with keeping magical beasts. According to him, most magical beasts were classified into different levels. Some species had naturally high aptitudes, thus their spirit qi surged in levels. This kind of magical beast was able to quickly absorb spirit qi and advance. There were other magical beasts whose aptitude was low. Their advancement speed was very slow, and it was easy for them to reach their upper limit. Strictly speaking, if Little Fury had not met Lu Shu, its upper limit would have been around Class E, but after eating so many refresher fruits, it was not impossible for it to reach Class B, it could also aim for higher levels. They would have to see where exactly Little Fury's limit was. The three magical beasts Big Cat, Naughty Pig and Little Fury had become like a family. Lu Shu was generous towards them. The ways of the world was of course, to work together and overcome the odds. Everyone had to become much stronger. Lu Xu thought for a while. He gave Little Fury two buckets of diluted refresher fruit juice. Feed these to your brothers. See if they can advance to Class E, don't advance so many of them yet. I feel that you still have to spend quite a bit of energy to control these rats. Don't be too overconfident. I may be able to use your rats soon. Little Fury had just finished eating two refresher fruits. Thus whatever Lu Shu said, he would do. He happily brought the two buckets of diluted refresher fruit juice to feed the rats. Before he left, he even gave Lu Shu a look of reassurance. But Lu Shu did not understand. But Lu Shu was speaking the truth when he said that he would be able to use the rats soon. Before he had returned, he had received a notice. He had to report to the security formation. His orders had been transferred to Shi Fei. After Shi Fei and his colleagues had been recognized for their meritorious military service, they were given preferential treatment and were provided with rich resources. Now they were about to advance to Class C, the leader of the Luo City Practitioner's Security Force was Shi Fei himself. But when Shi Fei and his colleagues received the orders, they were also slightly shocked. Usually, the information given in the orders was complete. But Lu Xu's order was extremely simple. Even his military rank was not indicated. Only his name, age, gender and place of birth were written. At first they had thought that it was someone of the same name. 
Did they not just help Lu Xu's orphan sister to take justice? Everyone had thought that Lu Xu was certainly dead. In the end, when they called Zhang Yutong to confirm the information, they realized that this Lu Xu was the same Lu Xu they thought had died. Zhang Yutong did not hide the truth either. He said that in order to receive remuneration from the Darkness Kingdom, he had painstakingly worked with Lu Xu to fake Lu Xu's death. Now that they had received the money, Lu Xu could regain his identity. He did not tell them that Lu Xu had been promoted to captain. Heavenly King Ye had told him to keep it a secret. Besides, Zhong Yutong was only an assistant captain. Telling them that Lu Xu was a captain was very awkward for him. They suddenly realized what had happened. So that was the case, but something was wrong. Shifei asked over the phone, doesn't Lu Xu need to go to the Luoshan Cultivation College? Why is he? Before he could finish his question, Shifei heard Zhang Yutong's tone grow deeper. Do not say a word of the cultivation college to Lu Xu. I'm counting on you all. They looked at each other in blank dismay. What was happening? And the reason why Lu Xu said that he needed the rats was because of this order. Since he had been sent to the security team, then he would go. But Lu Xu thought, even if he did not go to the cultivation college, would he be able to go to university? If he could not enter the cultivation college, then he would follow his plan and go to university. It didn't have to be somewhere far away. Now he was not fixated on getting into a famous university. A local university in Luo City would do. If that was the case, Lu Xu would still have to go through all the content in the last few months. He would not have the time to deal with public security. He would let Little Fury be the scapegoat. If there were any problems with public security, he would find Little Fury and let its rats settle the problem. Since he had eaten so many refresher fruits, he could not do nothing all day, nor could he appear in dreams and sell digital coins all the time. Lu Xu said earnestly, you cannot just sell digital coins in your dreams. Business has to be flexible. Do you understand? Little Fury did not quite understand. Chapter 533, Business Has to Be Flexible The next morning, Lu Xu woke up at 3 a.m. The collapse of the snowy mountain meant that like his predecessors in the Hall of Swords, he would have to start from square one. For now, he would use his distress points to light the seventh star. As for officially advancing from Class C, he lacked in his physique and speed. He was still looking forward to it. After all, the weaknesses on his body made Lu Xu feel weak about his Class B, he could only completely be at ease once he had reached Class B in all aspects. Thus under these circumstances, he could not divert his distress points to exchange for Qi fruit. He could only work hard to reconstruct the snowy mountain day after day. Lu Xu did not think much of this. The likes of Li Xianyi had also practiced sword by sword, he should have no problems. Throughout his journey to the collection of gods, Lu Xu had always worked hard to accumulate his past gains. This made him realize that regarding the mastery of his body, it did not mean that he could rest easy after he had finished a level. His strength continued to increase. Corresponding to the increase in his strength, the mastery of his body decreased. Now, he had a lot of time. Hence, he wanted to completely stabilize himself and once again pick up the details he had lost during the process of rapid advancement. After the Sea of Qi had opened, the sword energy produced during normal sword practices appeared. It was unlike Kirihara's Tao then, sometimes present, sometimes not present. But Lu Xu now rarely used handheld weapons in battles, just like how Li Xianyi completely only used his aura blade and flying swords. But Lu Xu felt that if he were to make a good sword, he could also try close combat. This way of thinking made others assume that he was an archer. When the opponent recklessly approached him, he could simultaneously be the executioner who cut others. Lu Xu had not perfected his sword energy yet, unlike Li Xianyi. Lu Xu still vividly remembered the sense of mystery he had felt the first time he saw the old man practice his sword. Lu Xu thought carefully. If he could conceal his sword, then he would attain another achievement in his sword play. 
After eating breakfast in the morning, Lu Xu brought Lu Xiaoyu up the mountain. They still had to feed Big Cat and Naughty Pig with refresher fruit. However, when they reached their farmland, Lu Xu was dumbfounded. A block of Chinese chives in the Chinese chives plot had been harvested by others. Both Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu had been out and just came to the plot. It could not have been them. Is Little Fury still helping you to harvest the Chinese chives? Lu Xu had subconsciously thought that Lu Xiaoyu had made Little Fury work again. But Lu Xiaoyu shook her head. The expression on her face was full of anger. She was very clear that someone had stolen their Chinese chives. There were actually people who dared to steal their Chinese chives. Unforgivable. Before Lu Xu could speak, Lu Xiaoyu started to call for Big Cat and Naughty Pig without a sound. Little Fury came back. Lu Xiaoyu called herself the Animal Whisperer, this was not a joke. She really had this ability. Half an hour later, Big Cat and Naughty Pig sat beside each other in front of Lu Xiaoyu, alarmed and panicky. Lu Xiaoyu hugged Little Fury. She pointed her tiny fingers at their noses. Big cat, naughty pig, where have you two gone? Didn't I ask the two of you to keep guard at the vegetable plot? Big cat dropped its large head, while naughty pig raised its head with a snort. Lu Xiaoyu raised her eyebrows. Went up to the mountain to play. Didn't I tell the two of you that these Chinese chives are our property, and that you have to take good care of them? Naughty pig once again raised its head and snorted. Lu Xiaoyu suddenly turned her head and looked at Big Cat. Did you have to bring it to go up the mountain and play? Big Cat's head drooped even lower. Lu Xu stood at the side. He did not understand a single thing. Was Lu Xiaoyu's ability to control beasts so amazing? He was dumbfounded as he watched her speak. Little Fury did household chores yesterday, so it had nothing to do with this incident. Earlier it had still complained about the unfairness it received. Why did it have to do household chores? Now, on the flip side, it was gloating over others' misfortune. Today, it was not on the receiving end. Lu Xiaoyu knitted her eyebrows. Don't you know that we are poor? We have been buying you meat every day for this period. Do you know where the meat came from? From our income selling Chinese chives. Now you take the chance when I'm not home to go to the mountain and play, without taking care of the crops? Is this fair to me? Lu Xiaoyu grew more and more angry as she spoke. She slapped the back of Little Fury's head. Little Fury was confused. From Little Fury's distress, plus 666. What did this have to do with it? He got hit even while laying down. Lu Xu laughed. Let's not make this public first. Little Fury, bring a hundred of your rats here to lie in ambush by the Chinese chives field. I want to know who had the guts to steal my Chinese chives. That night, Lu Xu and Lu Xiaoyu returned to their apartment at Xingxu Road. Big Cat and Naughty Pig hid in the courtyard, secretly observing the outside through a crack in the door. Little Fury had brought a hundred rats to lie in ambush in the Chinese chives field. When it turned midnight, Little Fury's bright and piercing eyes looked outside the field. The time to win honor had come. Suddenly, it saw the eldest son of the village had stealthily bring more than ten people, walking gingerly, into the Chinese chives field. Someone asked softly, will we get caught for doing this? He is a student of the Daoyuan class. The son of the village had said, nonsense. Didn't you know? That student of the Daoyuan class has been killed. Only a girl is left at home. Besides, her magical beasts have ran off to who knows where. Did you eat these Chinese chives yesterday? Yes. <laughs> How are the results? The son of the village had asked. <laughs> All of them started laughing. Little Fury, who was lying in ambush, got angry. It dared to do anything, at that moment. These few people had caused it to be hit by Lu Xiaoyu. 
At this moment, the villagers suddenly all lay on the ground and started snoring. Before this there had been no signs, but Little Fury now gained the ability to put people to sleep from the golden piece of paper. It could suddenly put so many people to sleep at the same time. The innate technical ability that the golden piece of paper had entrusted to Little Fury was like an inherent ability. It could advance along with its advancement. This was like a skill that was naturally suitable for magical beasts. In the past, it could only put people to sleep one person at a time. Now it was different. The current Little Fury could make over ten people fall asleep, and even make them meet one another in their dreams. This was a massive dreamland that was more complete, just like an area of the world. This was the ability to put people to sleep, available to only those after Class C. The Little Fury in Dreamland was unusually ferocious. All of you, buy digital coins for me. VIPs can enjoy 9% off. This is probably what Lu Xu had said about business becoming flexible, right? Little Fury felt that it had become very smart. Chapter 534, The Fundamental Law of Dreams The son of the village head, as well as the people he had brought along with him, lay unconscious on the ground. They had seen a snow-white squirrel, with a tuft of purple fur on its head, ask them whether they wanted to become VIPs countless times. They were growing mad. They knew that something was wrong with this dream, but they could not wake up. Besides, they had seen this squirrel before. It was the magical beast that belonged to the Chinese chives plantation owner. In reality, Little Fury had tried to make the dreamland realistic countless times after receiving Lu Xu's instruction. It understood that once the dreamland was so realistic that one could not differentiate it from reality, then it had strong control over the dreamland itself. Under these circumstances, others would not even have the thought of dreaming. There would also not be any interruption of the dreams. Legend had it that a person's dreams could be controlled to the extent that they could experience consciousness for a thousand years. This was most likely the best way to use this power. The strongest way was to make the person dreaming so engrossed in their dream that they were not willing to wake up. But Little Fury was not able to do so, it understood the principles, but once it entered someone else's dreamland, it could not help but let itself free. Fortunately, since it was of higher class now, its control over the dreamland was stronger as well. Thus, even if the son of the village had wanted to wake up, he could not do so. Little Fury forced him to go to sleep. They tossed about for a few hours, before Little Fury grew tired and withdrew its abilities. The son of the village head and the people he had brought with him got up. They were immediately seized with fear. Ghost to an ordinary person, there was no difference between this and seeing a ghost. It was not their first or second day stealing the Chinese chives either. They had started to steal the day after Lu Xiaoyu left for the capital. At first, they had only dared to steal one or two stalks. Eventually, the son of the village had simply took a fancy to this piece of land. He wanted to bully Lu Xiaoyu and take the Chinese chives back to his village. He was walking towards his bright future. To him, he could not provoke Lu Xu, but he could provoke a girl. But the son of the village head did not know that at the present time, there were not many people who could provoke this girl. After Little Fury let go of these people, it reported to Lu Xu. When Lu Xu had handed over the job to it, he did not let it torture others. Most importantly, he wanted to clarify who exactly the Chinese chives thieves were. Lu Xu was practicing his sword play at home, at that time. He suddenly thought of something. He could once again use the Seal of Lands to help Lu Li change the rank of the Magic Rich Land. But it seemed like Lu Li had just gotten a new Magic Rich Land. Thus Lu Xu did not know where Lu Li's new training place was. Lu Xu opened up Lu Li's profile picture in his chat software, wanting to see Lu Li's moments. He realized that his moments had been blocked. Lu Xu guessed that Lu Li did not want to let Lu Xu see his moments, and he did not want to see Lu Xu's moments either. This made Lu Xu very sad. Lu Xu now particularly wanted to see Lu Li's moments. As his elder cousin, he had to care for his younger cousin. 
This feeling was just like a parent thinking about whether their children had been hit by their teacher or bullied by their classmates. Little Fury came at this moment. After finding Lu Xu, it conveyed three messages to Lu Xu in succession using its eyes. It's settled. The thieves are from the village. I've clarified their identities. Lu Xu remained silent for a while. He pointed the wooden sword in his hand at Little Fury. In the future, can you speak to me instead of using your eyes? Were all those worksheets for nothing? This was a habit Little Fury had formed due to Lu Xiaoyu. Its interactions only depended on glances. From Little Fury's distress, plus 199. Lu Xu thought about it and said, I'll give you a picture. Find this person for me. Be sure to get his current address and where he trains every day. He passed Lu Li's profile picture to Little Fury for Little Fury to have a look. Lu Xu was curious. Do you want me to make copies of this for the rats? Little Fury triumphantly used its claws to write on the floor. No need. I can appear in their dreams and pass the message to them. Good method. Lu Xu thought for a while. Go, hurry up. Lu Xu just realized that Little Fury's skill to put people to sleep could also be used on the rats, who had minds of their own. It could transmit the image of Lu Li to the rats for them to find him. Not even an hour had passed when Little Fury brought information regarding Lu Li, Building 12, Villa District, Jianyu Golf Garden. Lu Xu smacked his lips. The Lu family was quite rich. This house seemed to be worth at least a few million. On top of that, there was a magic rich land too. One could not get their hands on this property unless they had 40 to 50 million dollars. It was very impressive for even a businessman to have such a large cash flow in a year. After all, not everyone had the stamina to work so hard. Lu Xu thought about it. His consciousness passed through the bridge at the Seal of Lands and skyrocketed above the Luo city sky. He did not know how Jiang Shui's power was like now. When he had increased the level of magical energy for Jiang Shui, the level of magical energy was much higher than outside the remains. Now, he must be very grateful to this nameless hero, right? Lu Xu found Building 12, Villa District, Jianya Golf Garden. He took a deep breath. Lu Xiao, I'm here to help your younger cousin. You can rest assured in heaven. The Lu Xu now was different from when he had secretly increased the concentration of magical energy for Jiang Shui. This time, he would put on a big show. Back then when he had disguised himself as Nye Ting and retrieved Lu Xiao's corpse from the Seal of Lands, Lu Xu had thought about this problem. Back then he had just increased his deeds. He had also wanted to take the chance to show that the Seal of Lands was in his hands. As expected, Nye Ting did not say anything. Nye Ting and Shi Xuejin both clearly knew that the Seal of Lands was in his hands. He was not sure how Li Yixiao would react once he got hold of this information. Back then at the Beimang remains, he had been determined to win the relics. Thus, this was the background of this situation. This time, when Lu Xu increased the magical energy at Lu Li's villa, he did not hide at all. Furthermore, he would do it at a greater intensity than he had done for Jiang Shui. In the middle of the night, while Lu Li was sitting cross-legged and practicing, he suddenly heard a rustling sound from the room. Dust fell from the ceiling. Lu Li furrowed his eyebrows. The situation was obviously not so simple. The Luli now was not a flower that had just bloomed in a greenhouse. In reality, he was smarter than most people, even when he was at the Beimang ruins. Many students overestimated their own abilities and aimed for the relics. But in the end, they did not even have the courage to come face to face with a skeleton. But Lu Li was different. One look at the skeleton soldier's stance and he knew that he could not defeat it. Instead, he stole the squirrel's fruits and ate them. Everyone saw Lu Li, bloody battered and squatting on the floor while eating fruits, while they exited the remains. The problem was, why were the others safe and unharmed? This was because they had been protected by others. 
But Lu Li was different. At least Lu Li had depended on his own skills to take the fruits. Although there was no sign of an earthquake and no other abnormalities, Lu Li still made a prompt decision to jump through the French window and go outside. The sound of glass shattering did not stop. The villa suddenly collapsed with a loud crash. Lu Li looked at his villa in horror. From Lu Li's distress, plus 1000. Chapter 535, Karma After Lu Xu had gathered the spirit qi, he immediately left satisfied. Since it was his own younger cousin, he should take care of him. In this time and age, it was rare for someone to do good deeds and yet not be remembered. The heavenly network would acknowledge itself for its efforts. After settling this problem, Lu Xu calmed down. He called for little fury. Make sure you correctly identify the culprit who stole the Chinese chives. Don't harm the innocent because of a false accusation. Little Fury patted its chest and wrote in the book. No worries, it's definitely correct. The situation at the Chinese chives plantation had reached the ears of the Lu village. The son of the village head had described the situation in an extremely lifelike manner. Lu Pingsheng, the son of the village head, had insistently stated that there was something wrong with the Chinese chives plantation. They had to make a report to the Heavenly Network. But when they were asked for the details of the situation, they could not give an explanation. After all, if such a frightening and suspenseful story was linked up by a super VIP, it didn't feel as reliable. Lu Pingsheng had made a report to the Heavenly Network in the day. But as soon as Shi Fei heard that it was related to Lu Xiaoyu and Lu Xu again, he was too lazy to even care about it. He had even wanted to transfer Lu Pengsheng to another department to check whether he had any problems. In Shi Fei's eyes, Lu Xiaoyu was very obedient. How could she cause trouble? But Shi Fei suddenly felt that something was not right. When Xiaoyu was alone at home, there was not much mischief, it couldn't be that Lu Xu had returned, right? They were at a loss when it came to Lu Xu. People had cried and vowed to avenge him when they thought that he had died, but in the end his death was fake. According to Zhong Yutong, they knew that the Lu Xu now was very strong. As for exactly how strong he was, this was classified information. This made Shi Fei and his colleagues very uncomfortable. Someone who had often caused trouble had suddenly become so strong. He even had to report to their security team. Their prospects were bleak. And his exact strength was classified. What was this? Thinking about it, when Lu Xu had received the rank of major, he was a class C, now his class was kept secret. There seemed to be no difference whether it was kept a secret or not. But since it was classified information, they would not leak their guesses. They still had this much discipline. But Shi Fei and his colleagues found it hard to believe that this Lu Xu, who the entire school was not fond of, had really reached such a high level. That night, Lu Xu secretively brought Lu Xiaoyu up the mountain. Little Fury led the way. The entire Lu village was planting strawberries in large greenhouses during this season. The residents of Luo City also liked to come to this remote city to have one day of fun at a farm. They would pick strawberries with their own hands. In the afternoon, they would drink chicken soup in the farmhouses. To the residents of Luo City who loved enjoying their free time, this kind of day was very satisfying. The village was not too far away from Luo City City. Drive along Route 301 and you would reach the village in less than half an hour. This was also why the sales of strawberries was very good. Lu Xu whispered, with this, we will have a year's supply of strawberries. We will use the space to equip ourselves for strawberry picking. Little Fury, just eat as much as you can. Since you don't have space to equip, you can't bring much back either. Lu Xiaoyu looked down upon Lu Xu. She was not lacking money now. She had just bought two kilograms of strawberries yesterday and each kilogram had cost over $30. In reality, Lu Xu was thinking, since Little Fury had taken revenge, would he still need to continue to take revenge? Was he such a petty person? He was. Lu Xu was still upset over this point. 
The Chinese chives that had been cut away could not come back, so they had all disappeared. It was too late for them to even do anything. This sounded unpleasant, but these people did not know that he had faked his death. If Xiaoyu was really an ordinary girl, how could these villagers bully her right after his death? He was here to unleash his anger. You don't have to respect others. But at least have some respect for a martyr, who had sacrificed himself to protect your homes and defend your country. If it had not been in the countryside, these people would have possibly died by now. Then what use was there for their strawberries? Count every single family that has stolen the Chinese chives. Take his entire greenhouse's worth. Those who steal my Chinese chives must be punished, even if they are far away. As Lu Xu spoke, his expression was full of murderous intent. Go. The next morning, the villagers whose strawberries had been stolen woke up to attend to their greenhouses. Upon entering their greenhouses, they almost burst into tears. Where are my strawberries? Every family had around four to five greenhouses. Whole greenhouses of strawberries had disappeared. Who was the immoral criminal who had done this? Yesterday, the strawberries were still beautiful and plump and now they had all disappeared. A villager suddenly ran over. Were your strawberries stolen? The others lifelessly nodded their heads. What, has yours been stolen as well? The villager said with exasperation, we can't do anything about it if the strawberries have been stolen. But which idiot bit my strawberry and left it like that? There was still a strawberry hanging there. But upon closer look everything was gone. The surrounding villagers felt stifled. What on earth was this operation? In reality, Little Fury was very troubled upon receiving Lu Xu's orders. Although it was very greedy, but the problem was that it could not eat so much. It might as well eat a bite out of each strawberry. This squirrel did not even care whether the strawberries had been washed or not. From Lu Pingxing's distress, plus 666. From. Everyone had a guess of who exactly the culprit was, but they did not dare to debate about this. Even the two magical beasts, Big Cat and Naughty Pig, did not dare to go out and play. They stayed at the Chinese chives plantation and guarded the crops. But this time, Lu Pingsheng could not take it anymore. He brought his family, which was made up of around a hundred people, to Baimang Mountain. He wanted to make a complaint to the Heavenly Network base. More than ten greenhouses worth of strawberries had disappeared. The Chinese chives plantation had to pay back. After Shi Fei had received the complaint, he confirmed one thing. Lu Xu had really come back. He followed the villagers down the mountain. When they approached the village, they saw Lu Xu happily eating the strawberries. Little Fury, who was beside him, used its tiny paw to grab a strawberry and chewed on it. It was even carrying three or four more strawberries. When the villagers saw Lu Xu eating the strawberries, they were filled with anger. They forgot Lu Pengsheng's words that Lu Xu had sacrificed himself for the country. Even Lu Pengsheng himself was seized with terror. How was he still alive? There could not possibly be ghosts in the light of day. This meant that Lu Xu had not died. A group of villagers surrounded Shi Fei and his colleagues. They pointed at Lu Xu. It must be him who stole our strawberries. It is definitely him. A lady lay on the floor and cried loudly in distress. Upon seeing this, Naughty Pig rolled over, wanting to push up the lady. The lady stood up again in shock. In reality, some people only dared to blend in with the crowd, as they knew that in an orderly society, those who did not argue would benefit. No normal person would be able to reason with livestock. Whoever Naughty Pig wanted to push would most likely get pushed. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know 
glass half full or empty And we just put them on the shelf Try to look to the head 